I'm here to talk about the new 6.6 liter heavy duty engine here for the model year 20 new Silverado and Sierra. Uh, what we've tried to do to, to make sure this engine will meet all of our customer demands, we've taken what we've learned from the outgoing 6 liter and really brought it up in technology level to the Gen 5 suite of technologies that you can find in some of the light duty. However, that doesn't mean that we just use some of the light duty components. With the heavy duty segment being unique in itself, this engine was purposely engineered and built to meet those requirements. What we've done um, to largely bring this up to today's technology level is introduce the segment first fuel and direct injection. That enables us to increase the compression ratio to 10.8, allows us to make 401 horsepower and 464 foot-pounds of torque, which is also segment leading. All of that is on regular fuel, and all that is basically enabled by the direct injection system. Although it may not show completely, this is a gray cast iron block um, with inner bore cooling, as you can see here um, with these features to enable the engine to make a, a high performance uh, time after time. Um, also, some of the key features, the hyper-eutectic piston with the forged powder metal rod. It is six millimeters longer compared to our 6.2 liter, which allows us to get to the 6.6 liter displacement. It's a forged steel crankshaft as well uh, for improved durability. Uh, also carries with it the variable valve actuation. It is a dual equal system, which means the intake and exhaust valves are, are actuated off the same camshaft. Um, also a segment first for us is the variable oil pump. We know our customers need this in a variety of climates, a variety of conditions. The variable oil pump is capable of dialing in just the right amount of oil pressure for no matter what the use is. If it's a heavy trailer in the desert or it's uh, driving around unloaded, it's capable of dialing in pressure to meet whatever the customer's demands are. Also comes with uh, uh, piston oil squirters to make sure we get the pistons cooling to meet the overall durability requirements of the heavy duty customer. Uh, of course, uh, for the, the uh, fuel injection system itself, uh, which is around here in the back, um, to point this out, it is uh, actuated off of the camshaft with the trilobular profile. Um, fuel comes into the high pressure pump at 400 kPa, and after it's, uh, the pressure is built through the, uh, the lifter system you see here, it uh, is elevated to 15 megapascals and distributed out to the rails, and then injected it directly into the cylinders here with a very specifically designed uh, a chamber shape and piston to uh, make sure that uh, we maximize torque, power, and efficiency, all while uh, not compromising emissions. So really the overall goal is to make sure that uh, we produce an extremely capable gas product. We want to make sure we have an offering uh, for our customers to meet uh, what's really been uh, traditionally diesel level uh, trailering loads, over 17,000 pounds of trailering capacity all with the convenience of gas. Uh, so we're very proud to be able to offer uncompromised durability with performance to make this engine uh, really a great offering for our customers. Um, some of the other features we've done to make sure that this isn't just a, a boat anchor um, is uh, make sure that we still use some of the lightweighting technologies, aluminum oil pan, nylon 6.6 intake manifold with long runners to maximize torque. Um, as I mentioned, we want to make sure that this uh, application has torque capability all through the speed range. Low speed, high speed, whether or not you're pulling a stump out of the ground or you're towing a big load up a, up a mountain, this engine is, is capable of both extremes. So overall, we've been able to achieve a 20% increase across the entire speed range over the outgoing 6 liter with a 22% increase in peak torque up to a segment leading 464 foot-pounds. One of the uh, benefits that we also have with our heavy-duty engine, the, the all-new 6.6 liter, is uh, we have an oil life monitoring system. This system is also available on our light duty, but the way that works, if you are operating in a very severe usage requirement, then our, the ECU will actually calculate what the oil life is and report that through the display. So if you're using in a very severe trailering environment where the oil is frequently getting very hot, then we will actually make sure to adjust the oil life to handle that specifically. So no matter how you're using it, we make sure to relay that information to the driver so that you're very confident in what the, uh, the Silverado Sierra is capable of. Um, overall, the, uh, the peak mileage is 7,500, but obviously we'll, we'll adjust that uh, 
depending on, on how the usage is uh, and its severity. Um, the ECU calculates that. We have both positive and negative factors. If it's uh, basically in a very severe usage, then the oil life may degrade. If you're driving in a way that actually improves the oil viscosity through our very rigorous ventilation system, then of course uh, you'll add points back in and we'll actually extend uh, the life of the oil. So that's just one of the features that we use to make sure that we instill confidence. Um, together with uh, the cooling system on this truck, as uh, Jacqueline McQuaid said, uh, this has a, a really an unparalleled cooling system mounted with a mechanical fan that's driven off our water pump. So to properly integrate that, we also have, uh, the, the, since the water, the, uh, that fan is mounted directly to our water pump, we have a very purpose-built water pump for this application with a one-inch steel shaft to handle the loads so that customers can handle that all with confidence.